Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I would like to congratulate the Ministry of Defense of Russia Federation for organizing an important conference. As we are well aware, the defeat of Daesh in Syria and Iraq is not the end of the atrocious manifestation. Foreign terrorist fighters fleeing to many parts of the world constitutes major threat to international peace and security. They are operationally experienced, literally skilled and highly networked. Additionally, and unfortunately, the cyberspace which we are so much dependent on other connectivity keep the eventual form of caliphate alive through the biological language and hatred. The cyberspace will remain an important access point for Danish command and control as it is provides ease of access and direct connection to the sympathizers and the so-called media jihadists. The cowardly attack in many parts of the world show that terrorism is very much alive, most recently being in Sri Lanka. Malaysia strongly condemns the attack and hopes that those responsible, responsible for this barbaric crime be brought to justice. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victim and family affected. Ladies and gentlemen, the advancement of technology, particularly the wide use of internet, contribute to the new form of threat, the cyber attack. Now anyone at any location with a device like smartphone and internet access can carry out attack to any target in the world. The cyberspace without border become a new battleground for us in our fight against terrorism. Terror is now going beyond a physical terrorist of Syria and Iraq. Physical territories of Syria and Iraq. Cyber attack can be very complicated to deal with and requires totally new doctrine for us to counter it effectively. Cyber defense is not about physical strength, but it's still about will, wit and sharpness. We need new type of soldier, one with sound knowledge and information technology. Ladies and gentlemen, the South is a region with 95%. Muslim population is said to be a suitable location for Daesh to continue and pursue their, their misguided ambition. Local militant group and sympathizers are the backbone of the movement in the region. The Battle of Marawi in Philippines in 2017 and the bombing in Surabaya in 2018 are dreadful proof that they are penetrated in this peace and stable region. Of course, the type of uh, bombing and everything they follow exactly what happened in Russia and Iraq. The fact that Islam is religion of peace, Islam is teaches us about passion, kindness and forgiveness. Islam reminds us to be fair, truthful, and not to harm others. Killing and causing destruction are totally diverted from the true teaching of Islam. Act of terrorism in Islam is a hearsay brought forward by people who pursue their own selfish interests. We are now fighting the narrative of terrorism through the social media. We are now facing ways lone wolf extremists who are full of anger and hatred. The recent incident in New Zealand obviously showed that terrorism belongs to no religion in this world. As long as the radical thinking is allowed to follow around the society, anyone can be terrorist. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as we are moving away from Syria and Iraq, we have to prepare ourselves to combat terrorism in our backyard and in cyberspace. As such, I would like to offer three solutions for short and long-term implementation. One, a better understanding among the religions. Second, the network of cyber defense. And third, a tighter fire, firearm control. Anger and hatred seem to be the essence of terrorism nowadays. Misunderstanding of religion has fueled the anger and hatred among people which drive them forward radicalism, extremism, and terrorism. As such, we need to give better understanding about religions 
through mul multiple engagement to reach out to the many people as we could. With better understanding, we could eliminate misjudgment and avoid resentment of hostility. Religious conflict in the past, particularly between Islam and Christianity, more than often rose out of human excesses and desire to steer religious passion to support political goals. Even though the two religions advance in slightly different conceptualism of God and humanity relation to the divine, we can find more similarities within each of the two religions rather than between them. Muslim and Christian and many other religions share similar core values of respect of human life and dignity and profound commitment to charity and the common good. The fact is that all religion and faith in the world are promoting love and peace among humans. Ladies and gentlemen, considering the complexity of the cyberspace, each government needs to enhance their cyber defense capability and work together with other countries to form a network in this borderless environment. By having more cooperation in cyber defense, we would secure our sovereignty in this very wide domain and shared by many, by many information sharing and vital to overcome this common non-traditional security threat. Regionally, ASEAN has established several platforms, such as ASEAN Senior Official Meeting on trans Transnational Crime, ASEAN Regional Forum, ASEAN Europe Meeting to discuss and collaborate against the threat of terrorism and the security cyberspace. The ASEAN Defence Ministers with eight like-minded dialogue partners, namely Australia, the People Republic of China, Republic of India, Japan, New Zealand, Republic of Korea, Russia Federation, and United States of America, now convinced in only to discuss and cooperate this issue. ASEAN, we have 10 countries, only three countries majority Muslim, but we can have a dialogue, we can have convention discuss, but in Arab country we are very sad. They are same religion, same language, but they sometimes they cannot discuss and they cannot, they, they can, they even can, cannot have a conference to solve the problem. In converting the radical and extremist narrative, Malaysia has initiated the Counter Messaging Center, CMC, under the purview of Royal Malaysia Police, which monitors the use of internet and social media by the terror group to disseminate their radical ideology as well as to counter their narrative and rhetoric. Malaysia Ministry of Defense has also established the Cyber Defense Operation Center to address the increasing non-traditional security threat. Ladies and gentlemen, the shooting of the Christians New Zealand is a stem warning to us all to have a together control a possession of firearm. While some countries would argue that it is an individual right, we need to see this for the benefit of the masses. Well before New Zealand, we have countless case, cases of unlawful use of firearm in many other liberal countries. Although we should not directly blame the firearm as the object of the killing of the innocent people, but firearms that are not properly regulated could end up in the wrong hand of extremists. Learning from the past cases, we all should realize by now that firearm control needs to be tightened to avoid more shooting spree in the future. Distinguished guests and gentlemen, as a conclusion, the aftermath of Daesh in Syria and Iraq brought new challenges in our fight against terrorism. With deeper understanding about religion, we should eliminate misjudgment and avoid resentment and hostility. Virtual caliphate and cyber attacks require us to have a better control over the cyberspace. At the same time, we need to have a tighter control of the firearm, which can become a deadly tool when used for the wrong reason. Trade possessed by Daesh and new greater due to the advancement of technology. Combating terrorism requires better cooperative security strategies and various forms as a hard or soft approaches. 
There is no one size fit all. There is no one size fit all in terms of violent extremists or terrorist profile, set to motivation, level of radicalization and extremism, and the uh, tragic trajectories similar, similar, similarly counter-terrorism response and solution. It is fundamental that we must be united to fight against terrorism effectively. We also must identify who is the mother and father of Daesh and ISIS. With that, I conclude my speech. Thank you very much.